Let's take a look at the highlight slider and what it can do for our photographs. So in a prior video, we talked about shadows, whites, and blacks. And if you haven't already, I really recommend looking at those videos first because highlights builds upon and kind of is the opposite of a few of those sliders. What the highlight slider essentially does is it gives you control over not the brightest thing in the photograph, but the highlights, the brighter things. An example of this is if we take the whites slider. The whites slider is there to set how bright you want the brightest thing in the photograph to be. For example, if you've got some snow in the photograph, you might want one little bit of that snow to be pure white or very close to pure white. And if you were going to try to achieve that, the whites slider would be a great place to go. The problem is when you do that, oftentimes everything else, all of the other bright stuff in the photograph gets too bright. It brightens up with the whites and you end up with kind of overexposed highlights in the photograph. So you do that with the whites and then you shortly after want to follow up with the highlights slider. The highlights slider will let you kind of go back a little bit, kind of retrace your steps and backtrack on that adjustment to bring detail and darken those highlight areas. So an example of that would be something like this. Here I've used the whites slider to achieve a nice bright white in the photograph. And I think we've done that. We can see in the water, we've got some nice bright white. And we can also see in the histogram, I haven't blown anything out. I haven't clipped anything. So that's really good starting place for highlights. The problem is here, I've lost a lot of that gradation and detail in the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take highlights down and you'll notice it's gonna leave the very right hand tip of that histogram, the bright highlights, pretty much still, right? The brightest thing, because that's what you use the whites slider to adjust. It's gonna leave that pretty much still, but it's going to influence the brighter stuff. And we can see that happening. Here's where we started. Let's decrease the highlights and you can see all of that nice gradation and difference and texture coming back into the water. If we look at the comparison here, you can really see it. On the left, yes, there's something pure white, but almost too much has become pure white. On the right hand side, we still have something very, very close to a pure white, but we have all that nice texture that's been brought back into the photograph. If we go ahead and grab a different photo, here we can see the same kind of thing. So again, I've used the whites slider to brighten up the brightest thing in the image and give us a nice starting place for our brightest stuff. But in doing that, in getting ourselves a nice bright white, we've lost some texture. Everything's gotten a little bit too bright. So I can go in for, as a step two and drop the highlights down and bring some of that snow gradation and texture back into the photograph. And again, if we look at the before and after, we can see a very big difference. The left and the right both have something pure white in the photograph, but on the right, we also have all of that nice texture and detail in the snow. So again, just like with shadows, highlights are your second step. Once you've set the white point, you've set the brightest thing you want, you can follow it up with the highlights to fine tune what the brightest, or not the brightest, but the brighter things in the photograph look like. It's a super, super powerful slider. On a quick side note, if you guys are enjoying these videos, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button or commenting down below. Also, if you have any questions, comment down below. Uh, here at RMSP, we're trying to put out more and more videos as time goes on, and a little like or a comment goes a really long way in helping kind of our channel grow and our reach grow. Also, if you're viewing this on Facebook, I really recommend you popping over to YouTube and actually subscribing to our channel. Uh, subscribers help our channel grow, reach more people, and we might not be posting all of our videos on Facebook. So if you wanna get up-to-date videos and be sure you have the newest videos that we're putting out, make sure you're subscribed on YouTube.